Longtime friends are turning a century old church into a new brewery. It's uh, called Steeplejack Brewing Company, and they're expected to open this weekend in Northeast Portland. Cor Harlan joins us live with a sneak peek of the grand opening. And I know, Cor, you were really disappointed to be at a brewery this morning. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, those are two of, my, two of my favorite places, breweries and churches, and they have combined them into one. Look, Carl, showing you some of that stained glass window left over by the Metropolitan Community Church that was here at 24th and Northeast Broadway. Check out, I wanted Carl to kind of stand back from us to get started a little bit, just to show you the cavernous nature of this place. This is a bona fide old church that they bought from uh, the church folks a couple years ago, and they have been in the process of renovating it ever since. It still has a very strong, distinct flavor of being a church, including having a few church pews here. These are not original to this, uh, this congregation. But you got a church pew here. you got some tables here. you got a few beers in front of you. you got some food. I'd say you got a party. This is Brady Day, one of the guys who you, you, you did a lot of this by, by hand, I find oddly strange yeah well, i guess something to do in the pandemic right yeah, exactly yeah no we uh we we worked really hard to uh not only preserve and restore the space but then also take components of the construction project and then found new uses for them so like every table in the space is made from wood that we took while we were rebuilding the the space so and and now did you have any uh it must seem strange putting a some, some of those great big brew tanks up there at the front where the pastor would have stood one day in front of that uh, stained glass mirror there and put it in there. That, that, I like the irony in there, though. Yeah, well, we wanted, you know, it was quite the effort to get the <laughs> tanks in and then also preserve the view of the beautiful stained glass window. The stained glass window was done by a guy named David Schlicker, local stained glass artist and done in the, in the mid-'80s. And we wanted to preserve the, uh, the look of it, but then also design the brew house so that it's functional and it turned out to be an epic project. Give me a couple of stories about this old place. Yeah. Let's kind of move around a little bit because we can. There's sure. tons of cool little spaces to sit here, booths uh, that Brody has kind of made, handmade all of these tables in here. Maybe come in here. Tell me about the, uh, the, president, uh, the president story here. Yeah, so President Taft in 1909, the church was constructed, uh, started in 1906, finished in 1909, and when President Taft um, uh, came to town, he dedicated the building. He put a time capsule in the corner uh, of the steeple. Uh -huh. And so uh, for our grand opening on the 31st, we're going to put the time capsule back in uh, the corner of the steeple, and we want the community to participate. That will be really cool. Carl's kind of giving you a shot of the bar here. A couple of uh, lonely folks on the sidewalk that we asked to come on here and sit at the bar this morning as props. <laughs> they look really nice. But this bar is a million-dollar bar right here sitting in uh, – which would have been the, uh, this would have been the part of church that I usually hung out in. That would be the very back, so yeah. I could get away yeah. with yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever I was doing or not doing or paying attention to or maybe not paying attention to. So, uh, awesome deal. Tell me a little bit about this weekend's grand opening, too. Yeah, so we open at 7 a.m. on the 31st. It's Saturday, right? It's Saturday, exactly. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, we have musical acts booked. We have uh, food and beer specials all day. We have some giveaways. It's, uh, it's a family-friendly, fun community event. And at 2 p.m., like I said, we'll be, uh, we have a mason actually coming out that's going to be putting a time capsule back in the corner of the building. We invite the community to come put items in the time capsule, and, uh, and away it goes. So. That'll be pretty cool. Be it's got a lot of the elements of the old church here, including this probably maybe back in the day would have been the kids' crying room back here, uh, just off of the main floor of the church. But you can close the doors in here, play some foosball, scream at your buddies and your friends, and just uh, amp it up out here. And again, uh, Jenny and Ken, oh, this guy Brody here is nuts. He's made all of these things himself from a lot of the reclaimed wood that was under the, under the existing floor, and they have reclaimed a ton of wood out of here and repurposed it. And it, uh, I walked in here this morning, oh, we're doing a bar opening. Wow, it's a sweet bar opening. It's at Northeast 24th and Broadway. If you're interested in coming out here this Saturday, they'll be here with bells and whistles on because this is the real deal here, combining the best parts of a brewery with uh, the best parts of a church that lives on here in the form of a place to come out and hang out. And that's what a church is. It's a place to come out and hang out and, and, and all the rest of that. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. I'm with you, Cor. I was always in the back, too. Doing, <laughs> that way I could get away with uh, doing whatever Me I wanted too. to. Yeah, but that is just a beautiful My mother space. used to say she, she whip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. go go ahead, man. We had a little delay there, but go what ahead. Did your what did your mother say? Used to say? My my mother used to my mother used to say she said you you better shut up 
or I'm going to, and I'd go to the back of the church, and that's all she ever had to say to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Okay. Uh, well, we got a little insight into uh, Cora's church experience yes. growing up. That's what really good. What shaped him, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they have done just a, a wonderful job with that they space. Have. I can't wait to see it in person. Yeah. Thanks, Cora. Impressive. All right, well, a bar and